<clears throat> uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to be here alongside Premier, Minister LaGrange and Rick Hansen, as well as representatives from Alberta Health Services, who have all worked hard in shaping how we move fo forward after the devastating E. coli outbreak in September of last year. An outbreak that impacted families, their children, and called into question food safety and licensed childcare facilities and the standards we have in place to prevent devastating events like this. The safety of our children is our government's top priority. Moving forward, Alberta's government is focused on restoring that trust so parents can go to work or pursue an education while feeling conf confident that their children are safe in our licensed childcare facilities. Since its formation, the Food Safety and Licensed Facility-Based Review Panel met with parents and various food safety experts from across the province. In doing so, they've been able to collect information and feedback to develop recommendations to improve food safety. I want to thank everyone who took the time to meet with the panel to discuss their concerns and share ideas. I also want to thank the panel members for participating in this, in this critical review. Your contributions will help to restore trust in our food safety and childcare systems and protect our children. After receiving the panel's report and recommendations, our government moved quickly to develop an implementation plan. We will immediately start implementing measures to improve the safety of children in licensed facility-based childcare. This includes several measures with a focus on promoting a culture of food safety in licensed childcare. Food safety culture will be addressed through the introduction of mandatory staff training, increased transparency of food safety compliance through prominent posting of public health inspection reports, and creating awareness among parents and staff on how they can report safety concerns, including anonymously. We will work with our colleagues in Alberta Health to develop a process to require staff and volunteers to sign statements on food safety culture as part of their ongoing training. In addition, we will ensure our child care operators have the tools they need to action these recommendations and will collaborate with our partners to develop the resources required to assist them in adhering to policies and best practices. We are also examining uh, potential legislative and regulatory changes to strength, strengthen our food safety standards while introducing penalties for non-compliant parties to ensure adherence to the high quality standards expected in the sector. We will, we will work with child care providers throughout this process while also investing in increased risk-informed monitoring and inspections. It is crucial we get this work right and are thoughtful in how we implement the important recommendations. We must protect the health and well-being of children in the future. Our approach prioritizes immediate actions to enhance food safety and licensed child care while also considering long-term recommendations that will take some time to implement. We will have more to say on those in the coming weeks and months. If at any time you have a concern about food safety, I encourage you to reach out to Environment Public Health at albertahealthservices.ca slash EPH. Again, I would like to thank the panel members for their important work in developing the report and for providing recommendations on how we can improve food safety in childcare settings. Working together with our partners in Alberta Health and AHS, I'm conf confident we can develop a food safety culture in childcare that both families and providers can be proud of.